the wolf. A truly majestic creature, wandering, surviving off the lands, killing animals, trying to live, uh, d doing all that other wolf stuff. <sighs> if only there was a way to be a wolf. Well, I suppose you could try tracking down a gypsy and get her to curse you into being a wolf man, but really, who has time to do that these days? There's many things like Netflix and, uh, and um, sitting around and playing games that you gotta do. Well, I guess I've found the next best thing. A video game! Called Wolf. About playing a wolf. In, in a video game. Being a wolf. Full Lost Intro 10 out 10. Wolf was a game released in 1994, published by Sanctuary Woods and produced by Manly and Associates. The game is a wolf simulator where you try and survive and complete various scenarios. You look down from a top-down perspective as you try to micromanage the wolf and its pack so that they can not only survive, but also complete their various goals. So with all that out of the way, let's get started! In the game, there are three choices of terrain. Arctic, timber, and plains. Let's select planes because of reasons. We think of a choice of scenario. This ranges from killing various animals to becoming alpha. Since this is our first playthrough, let's try something easy like uh, survive the day. That should be easy enough, sure. Our first wolf is named Jewel. Jewel is a female of eight years and two months. Her parents are fish and uh, feast. Okay, I guess. And hey, look at that. We really lucked out with Jewel, as she's already an alpha, and she's killed a bunch of prey before, so really, surviving a day should be a piece of cake. Sure, Jewel is low in, um, uh, a throat, and, um, I guess stomach? But she should be fine. I mean, look, look how high her green is! That, that's pretty high, and I guess green is good. Also, I think my game might be bugged, because I'm pretty sure that above Jewel's name there should be a portrait of her, but whatever, let's begin. Ah. <sighs> Look at her. So majestic. Starting the game off, I look at the control scheme and Jesus Christ! The controls are super convoluted. J just look at this. Each control corresponds to a different letter in the command that button does. Seriously, th there must have been a better way to do this. Anyway, first of all I decide to get some food as Jewel's stomach seemed to be pretty low, which I guess means that she's hungry. So off we venture to find something to eat! I discover a carcass and decide to eat from it as not to look a gift horse in the mouth, which brings her pink up, which I guess is good? It's then that I notice that her blue is down, and I guess that her blue represents thirst? So I guess it's time to look for a lake! And now off we are to look for a lake in this grand adventure of being a wolf. Luckily I find the button to find all the different locations around the place and look at that, a lake is nearby. So I travel there and Jewel dies on the way. Apparently she was thirstier than I thought and died of thirst. Sorry Jewel, I let you down. Oh well, on to the next wolf. For the next wolf I choose timber, as surely there's more water in the woods. This time, to make sure that I don't die of thirst, I choose the find water scenario. We have glide path this time. A male of 4 years and 1 month. And would you look at that? His food is at least higher than Jewel. His throat is still low, but whatever, I'm sure that doesn't matter. Glide path is a beta this time, but hey, we can't all be leaders. Glide path 2 has killed his fair share, so surviving should be no issue this time. Let's begin the quest to find water. No dawdling this time, just a straight beeline to the water. Yep, just a long trek to the nearest lake. For some reason, along the way, Glide Path keeps stopping to smell or hear. Come on, man, I'm trying to find you water! Eventually he just comes to a complete halt and the music changes to become more ominous. A graphic shows a human nearby, which I guess means that there's a hunter. I didn't really want to kill anyone, but if there's someone on my way to water, I guess I'm just going to have to do it. Come on, let's go. L let's move. It's, oh, it's so close. Oh. This is where we come into a bit of a problem. For some reason, and I'm not too sure why, Glide Path just refuses to move. He just sits right there and just refuses to move forward. I guess maybe he's scared of the hunter, but there's no real indication of that. 
<sighs> Eventually I just decide to rush to the nearest source of water, so I quickly make my way down. It's then that an ominous helicopter sound comes from above, so I try to rush my way even quicker. As surely my water levels are dropping, and I'm getting thirstier and thirstier as the minute goes on. For some reason, a video plays of it changing to night, and just like that, Glide Path also dies. <laughs> let you down Clyde Path. I'm sorry. It is at this stage that I decide with two wolves down I should probably check out the demo and see how to play this game. <sighs> Worst 10 minutes of my life. The demo doesn't really show me anything new it just shows me different mechanics of the game and how to look at my levels while I'm playing the game which I suppose is handy but at the same time I don't see how this would help me any way of finding water. Alright, let's try this again. I choose timber once again as I'm sure there must be water here. This time I chose the goal to kill it here, because surely this is super easy. We are playing Snowbound now, a male of 8 years and 1 month. Already we have a bad start. See how low his food and water meters are. He is a beta, but his parents interestingly enough are also fish and feast. So I guess he's Jules long lost brother or something? I thought I know, maybe. Hashtag sibling connection. And also he's killed enough rabbits so surely it should be no trouble to kill a here. <sighs> Unfortunately we are in the middle of winter so it may be an issue to find water. Hopefully not. There's a lake nearby so I make my way there. Water! Finally! Snowbound will not be dying of thirst tonight! Now with my water refilled I need to find something to eat before I starve. I make my way towards a carcass and Snowbound is shot. He dies tragically by a bullet wound. <sighs> Alright, okay, last chance. Let's try this one more time. This time we have Pondisit, who is a freaking killing machine. Seriously, look at all the prey she's killed. She's also an alpha, and the best we've had in terms of hunger, thirst, and health. Surely, if anyone is able to survive, it will be her. Alright. First we'll get some water, then we'll go for some food and just hide. We'll just hide, because surely that will work. If we have full meters, that, that, that should work fine. Alright, okay. We're loading up the game and- What? Uh, what? what? No! 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 no get, get out of there! No! 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 <laughs> no. Yeah.